Hello, this is Irv Shapiro, a.k.a. Dr. Vax. And in today's Maker Basics segment, we're going to talk about why you would use a drill press as opposed to a handheld power drill. Okay, let's start thinking about the differences between a handheld drill and a drill press. A, the primary reasons you would use a drill press as opposed to a handheld drill are precision and leverage. We'll talk about both of those. The primary reason you would use a handheld drill is convenience and flexibility. Okay, let's take a look at our benchtop WEN drill press. Drill presses come in two type. This is a bench top drill press. It's for light duty. It has a relatively small motor. Drill presses also come that sit on a stand on the floor where they can move a very long distance. The distance that this drill press can move from the top position to the bottom position is only about two inches. And the drill press table can only go down a few more. So if you're looking to drill in something that's very large, this may not be the drill press for you. I'm going to move this back up into position here. Every drill press has a chuck and a chuck key that is used to tighten or loosen the drill bit. Most drill presses, presses have a place to store that. Every drill press has a lever that is used to lower the bit into the material. And it's that lever that gives you leverage. So this is a very large, or relatively large, about an inch and a half, Forstner bit. A Forstner bit drills a hole with a flat bottom. This is difficult to use on a handheld drill. It's possible, but it's difficult. In this case, it's very easy to use on a drill press. So if we turn this on, but first, before turning it on, we're going to take and clamp this down. Because the rotational torque on this drill press would spin this block of wood around and potentially cause injuries. So we're going to tighten it down. We're going to put on our safety glasses and power it up. And now you can see how easy, how easy it is to drill into the wood with this bit. If this was a handheld bit, I'd be leaning over to drill into this wood. Very, very easy to use this to get a very, very precise and flat bottom hole in this block of wood. Most drill presses have the ability to change speeds. So in this particular case, there are five different speeds for different materials. When you're using a larger drill bit, you drill at a smaller speed. Otherwise, the material will start to burn. In certain types of materials, plastics, you want to drill in a smaller speed. And in metal, it depends on the type of metal and the type of bit. So a drill press is not an exotic piece of equipment. It's a piece of equipment you can sit on a table in the corner of your garage or on a small bench in your basement, and it will enhance your ability to precisely drill both large and small holes with ease. Thank you for joining me for this Maker's Basic segment. If you liked it, please click like. Please click subscribe to hear about additional Maker Basic segments where you can learn about the tools that makers use in order to create things from scratch. Thanks, have a good day.